What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Now in this video we're gonna dive really deep and I'm gonna show you some advanced strategies of promoting sweepstakes on a traffic network. So you can use this with Facebook ads, you can use it with Google ads, Bing ads, or you can use it with your own funnel or maybe if you have a site you can use it. You can use it with a lot of different traffic sources and traffic methods. And so the first thing that you have to understand is that you cannot take a sweepstakes and direct link to it. There is no sweepstakes in the world where you can just take an offer link and send your traffic directly to that page. And the reason for that is sweepstakes are a specific type of offer and that you need to qualify the user. And the reason is, and let me show you what I mean. So I'm here browsing in my Max Bounty uh, sweepstakes, right? I basically pick the sweepstakes in the pull down. I click search and I have various sweepstakes. Now here's one sweepstake that caught my attention. And this is win an iPhone 11, single opt-in, New Zealand, and, and the payout is $2 per lead. Now here's what the landing page looks like, right? Here's the landing page. And it's a very, very small, very, very, you know, generic, uh, I couldn't even say minimalistic landing page, right? It just says win an iPhone 11, pro cameras, pro display, pro performance, grab your chance to take home an iPhone 11, enter now iPhone 11 is about a thousand dollars, right? So it's a lot of money, right? It's a lot of money. Unless you're like really rich for the average person, it's a lot of money. It doesn't matter if you, if you live in America, uh, if you live in the developing world, it's a lot of money for everybody. And so when you see something like this, when you see it or the user see it, sees it, uh, they're basically the first reaction is at least my first reaction is it's too good to be true. Right, so what I have to do, I just enter. Uh, they don't know anything about me. I'm just, you know, a regular person. I'm, I'm a generic person. All I have to do is enter, uh, enter a couple of details, right? You know, maybe fill out like one form or two pages, and I have a chance to win an iPhone 11. And my initial reaction is, this is too good to be true. That this is not going to happen. And this is how a lot of people think. And so you really need to learn how to qualify the user. Now, there are a lot of ways of qualifying the user that we're going to talk about in a minute. But you also have to understand that you cannot link something like this. You cannot send traffic to this page from like Facebook ads or Google ads or Bing ads because this is a very poor user experience, right? I mean, some people are going to enter, they're going to put their info and they're not going to win. And then, you know, they're going to feel they're cheated. Right, and the reason for that is uh, they're gonna know that the chance of winning is relatively relatively small, but they're gonna still enter, and of course they're not gonna win, and they're gonna be pissed off because they're gonna get spammed, and you know obviously somebody's gonna send emails to the, to the email they have provided, maybe even call them if they need to provide a number or send a mail or, or all kinds of things. So. Yeah, they're happy about winning the iPhone 11. They're in a good mood. And then they end up being spammed by others and things like that. So this provides a very poor user experience. So what people are going to do is they're going to actually uh, click on the ad. You know, if you're promoting on Facebook ads, they're going to basically flag the ad. And when enough people do it, your account might get disabled. And this is usually what happens. And so you'd never want to link to sweepstakes offers. You need to qualify the user. And the reason you need to qualify is that you need to make the user feel special you need to make them feel that they're you know it's only them that it's not open to the entire planet right it's not open to everybody between the ages of 18 and 80 right it's only open to the select few people and we need to ask him a couple of questions we need to make sure that they're a good fit and then we need to send okay now you can register for the offer right we need to qualify the user qualification is very very important and so I'm going to talk about a couple of very interesting methods. Maybe you know about some of these methods, maybe you don't. But nevertheless, these are just some of the advanced methods of actually qualifying the user, okay? Now, the first method is a quiz. Quiz is one of the most popular ways of qualifying the user, right? And what a quiz does is it basically asks them a couple of questions about either maybe themselves or about the offer and they basically answer these questions and then we basically tell them okay now you can go and enter to win we do not say that you won you never want to do that because that's misleading you basically say that okay now you can enter to win because you answered those questions correctly now the way the quiz works is that we ask them a couple you know around three questions right three questions is what you want to shoot for you can do uh four or five questions but 
You can even do two questions or one question, but I would never recommend doing one or two questions because that's also not enough of a qualification. I would shoot for three questions, maybe even four questions, right? Four questions can, can work as well. And so what you want to do is you basically want to ask them a couple of questions about themselves and, and about the offer. Do not ask personal questions, okay? You, don't, you never want to ask. Do not ask them their age, uh, their gender, you know, sexual orientation, nothing like that because... Uh, first of all, Facebook doesn't like it. Google doesn't like when you do that. And second of all, you're just creeping the person out, right? I mean, if they, let's say you're asking for their gender and they say male and then you say, okay, you can enter. Or, you know, they say female and you say, okay, they can enter. It's, it's a useless question. You want to ask them very simple, easy questions where, you know, one of the answers is so obvious that they have to pick it. And, you know, you're basically rewarding them for picking it. So let me give you an example. Okay, so here I have uh, basically an offer I was running for a Target gift card. Okay, and I have the right colors because Target co Target's colors are uh, white, red, and black. So typically white and red and also sometimes black. And so obviously I can, I can change. I could take the green out, take this golden color out. But when you're designing your landing page and you do need a landing page, right? Because that's what a quiz is. It's a landing page. Uh, you need to make sure that you, you connect the colors to the actual offer. So for instance, what is this offer? Black, black, gray, shades of black, uh, white, black, gray, things like that. And that's what your landing page should be, right? So you basically need to design it. You, you don't want to do something like red for that offer, okay? And so what you do is you have a landing page and then they click start now. And then they basically have a couple of questions, right? So I have three questions uh, for this particular offer and that's what you should be shooting for, three questions. And after that, I capture their email uh, because I wanna know more about them, right? Because maybe I can send them an offer down the road sometime and I'm paying for this traffic. So I might as well capture their email so that I can market to them again. You don't need to do this, but I highly recommend you do this. And then you click submit and they're basically shown a page. Uh, basically the page tells them that congratulations, you can now enter to win the offer and then they click you know, next page or they, they click submit or there's a call to action button and then they basically go to the offer. This is the recommended way. This is the first method, okay? Now, the second method I want to talk about, this is more of an advanced method and I call this the wheel of fortune. method and so what happens is they could basically go to the same page and this this is a landing page you can even have the quiz on the same page so basically the same exact method that I talked about previously and when they land on this page they're greeted with this wheel of fortune and this is a special plugin there's a lot of plugins that do this I'm gonna have a WordPress plugin in the description that tells you more how this how this thing works and what happens is typically what you want is you want them to spin twice uh, sometimes you can configure this this particular um, thing. You can basically configure the chance of winning on the first try. So I think I put like 70%. You don't want to put like 10%. So they're spinning the wheel all day and then they win on the 10th try. You want to make it hard, but not harder, right? You, you know, you, got, you guys need to make the lead work for it. You cannot just say, hey, you know, here you go. Enter your email and you have a chance to win. That's not realistic, you know. That's what, you know, that's what the BS detector is all about. The BS detector, basically, it compares the amount of work somebody needs to do and the result. So if they, if they have a job and they work, you know, like crazy amount that they make that $1,000 to buy the iPhone, then it's legit. But if, you know, you, you know, you have an email or you spin the wheel and it's automatic win, it's not a good idea. So, for instance, let me try spinning this wheel and seeing what happens. So I spin this wheel and let's see if we win. And as it happens, we win on the first try. So it's a 70% chance. Sometimes you can even configure the amount of spins before they can win. I believe here you cannot do this. Maybe there's another version where you can do it. But I can just lower the chance of them winning on the first try. So put like 50 or 40%. And then they can spin it two or three times. You know, there's a more, you know, the first chance is going to be relatively little. Yeah, so typically for this one, you maybe want to make it 50 or less. I made it 70 or 75 so in this case, it's a bit too high because I, I've spun this wheel before and I typically went on the first try. And you don't want that. You want them to win on the second or third try, just like with the survey where they basically need to answer three questions or more. And so what, what happens here is that this is all configurable. These plugins are all configurable because they're designed exactly for what we're doing. 
right, for similar things what we're doing. They're designed to give people coupons. They're designed to reward people, which is exactly what we're doing here. And so you can configure, right? So for, for instance, here we say, hooray, you've hit the chance to win 150,000 for home makeover. Lucky you, nicely done. You can use the coupon code below to claim your prize. And so we can have a coupon. Obviously, in this case, you don't want to have a coupon. Uh, you can just have a, you know, a redirection. You can automatically redirect them. But what I would do is I would just have a call to action and says, uh, click here to enter for a chance to win uh, whatever the offer was, iPhone 11, et cetera, et cetera. And this is something that I would do. And this is a very good method because a lot of people see quizzes. Everybody's doing quizzes. A quizzes still work. Don't get me wrong. They're still very, very powerful. But honestly, you know, this is something that you want to try. And I'm going to have a link to this plugin for WordPress, which is what pretty much everybody uses. You can download this and start putting this into action. So I highly recommend it. It's a very cool system because not a lot of people are doing it. Only like the advanced pros, uh, the sweepstakes, uh, basically companies, the sweepstakes, clearing houses, they're all doing this. But nobody's doing this with max bounty and CPA offers. So if you implement this, uh, you're going to be ahead of the pack. Okay, so these are two really solid systems. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is you can basically qualify the lead by running ads or... you know, geo-targeting. And basically, if, if you are running, let's say this is a U.S. offer, right? The offer that we have on Max Bounty is for New Zealand. So in this case, let's say we have a U.S. offer. And so you can run ads to California and that will only show people that, you know, they're in California. You can actually configure. You can basically go to the ads manager and you can enter California, right? So I have U.S. here. You can basically target by state. So what you can do is you can basically target, you know, let's say five popular regions. Uh, if you're targeting United, United States, you can do New York, California, Texas, maybe Florida, maybe, I don't know, you know, just basically Google for the top five popular states. And then what's going to happen is when they click, when let's say you, you have five ad sets running, right? One for a different region. And then you will have ads for those ad sets that are linked them to a different landing page. And then on the landing page, you can actually say something like, hey, uh, you know, you can say something like, hey, California visitor, uh, we are offering this. Well, actually, do not say California visitor. You don't want to do that. You can say something like, uh, we are offering this prize for California residents. Or you can even have a survey, a uh, quiz. And one of the questions could be something, are you a California resident, right? And it's a simple, simple, you know, simple question. It's not a, you're not telling them, right? You never want to tell them that they are a California. We know that they're a California resident because we are using geo-targeting, right? We're, we're telling the ad plot platform that uh, basically that, you know, you know we're, we're, we're targeting a specific area. But you never want to say something like, are you a California resident? You want to ask him a question very innocently, right? And you never want to show this. If you're running ads on Facebook, you never want to show that in the ad, right? Because Facebook doesn't like that. You never want to say in the ad, are you a California resident? You just, just do it, proceed normally. Just create a regular ad. But when they get to the landing page, you can mention it on the landing page. But you can also, uh, another thing is when you're doing the quiz or you're doing the Wheel of Fortune, you can basically specify that, uh, you know, something like, are you a California resident? And obviously they're going to be a California, or like 99% of the people, coming from California, probably going to be a California resident, unless they're traveling or something like that. But it's good enough. It's good enough. And that's another way of qualifying, right? You're saying that this offer is not available to everybody. It's only available to whatever we're doing. And this is very good because like, you know, that person, they come from California and they feel, oh, great. You know, I'm a California. I live in California. This is available to California residents. And it's not available to my buddy who lives in New York. Or, or my buddy who lives in like Wyoming or something like that. So they feel special. They feel qualified. And it's another way of qualifying. Now, you can do it. Um, you can basically do it a number of ways, right? You can run ads, uh, specific ad sets, and then have ads that redirect to specific landing pages based on the geolocation. Or you can just have a broad United States targeting, and then you can have it on the landing page. You can get a WordPress plugin that basically... 
uh, maybe redirects them to a you know another landing page because you can have a piece of code that basically detects where they are in the world. So if you're running a U.S. campaign, it could detect the city, the states, uh, and all of that. And then you can do the appropriate logic. You can basically redirect them to another landing page based on that state, or you can uh, you know maybe on a city level or something like that, and you can basically redirect. And you can say something like in the quiz, "Are you a New York resident?" or "Are you a New Jersey resident?" or uh, you can say something like, we are running this offer, and then you can have in bold, you know, the first condition must be a U.S. resident, uh, New York resident, and they are a New York resident, because we're going to show that landing page only to those residents. So it's a very, very strong way of qualifying. I actually have not seen this at all. I have seen quizzes every now and then, but I have not seen uh, this method. So this is a very, very advanced method, and it's very easy to do. There are all kinds of plugins available. Uh, where you can download a similar plugin. I will have some plugin uh, plugins in the description below, but that's a very, very powerful method that I have not seen anybody do. And so you're definitely going to be ahead of the pack. Another way that you can be using qualification is something called social proof. And so what you want to do is you want to basically create a landing page and you want to show that other people have won. Okay, you want to make sure that this is legit, right? Because the first question I ask myself is, uh, I go to something like this, right? I go to this landing page, and this looks, this doesn't look authentic, right? It doesn't look like a land, it does not look legit, right? I don't know, these people are going to spam me, or they're going to install some spamware or malware on my computer. This does not look legit. And so you want to create your own landing page. You want to show some other, possibly some of the other people that have won. Now, obviously, there, you know, you have, there's a lot of ways of doing it. You have to uh, do some research. You have to maybe read a, a little bit about the offer. You have to uh, find out who's running the offer. And then maybe you can, you can Google and see if other people have won. And for instance, I have this article here from a site. And it has some testimonials, right? It has some testimonials with pictures. And it says, Alexander Clark's iPad win from IHOP, Florida's Facebook page, you know? And here is what you're talking about. Now, we, and, and here's another one. Cartridge World's Go Green, Win Green Sweepstakes, $10,000 winner. And they actually have a picture with the check and they have a testimonial and, and all kinds of things. A MacBook computer win from a Facebook contest. Now, this is what, this, this, creates something called social proof. Basically, you see other people have won and you feel much more confident you're going to win. Now, the way you go about it, that's really up to you. I'm here to provide a tactic. So, you know, you can you can research about it. Maybe you want to contact the, the company that's running the sweepstakes and, and see if they can offer you some testimonials. Uh, maybe you can, you know, you know, Google and see somebody else wrote these testimonials and maybe you could find a link to the offer that you're running you want to create it, uh, a sense of legitimacy, right? Nobody's going to, you know, your conversion rate to this landing page is going to be very, very poor. So you want to create more content, right? So here's uh, John Friedberg wins uh, Phillips Norelco's Trivia Bowl Finals. And they have pictures, they have this. Now, I don't know the authenticity of this page. I haven't done my research. I basically found this page uh, in some of the content that I have. I basically found this page. And this is what a legit testimonial looks like. I don't know the authenticity, obviously, of this, but this is what this is how it works, right? And this is another, this is yet another method of providing a sense of legitimacy, right? Basically, telling people that this is not like, don't uh, give me your email, you're gonna win an iPhone, or worst, worst yet, right? Win a you know $150,000 home makeover. Uh, you know, people are going to enter, but a lot of people are going to be very skeptical and very suspicious of it. And you're also not, you know, your chance, you're not going to be approved on Facebook ads. Even if you will, later on, Facebook is going to shovel you and disable your account because, you know, it smells of BS and it really provides a poor user experience. And sweepstakes are a great way to get started with CPA marketing. You don't really need to sell a $50 or $100 affiliate product. You could basically get somebody to complete an action, right? Single opt-in. They don't even need to, to have a double opt-in, just a single opt-in. It's a minimal uh, submission field. And they're basically, you, you get $2, right? And you do this, you know, 10 times a day. You do this 100 times a day. You do this 50 times a day. You get, you know, $100, $200 a day. So they work. It's legit. People are making money. But you have to beef them up, right? You have to make them seem more legitimate, right? You cannot link them to a direct offer because, you know, obviously not all of these 
uh, sweepstakes are going to look like this, but a, a lot of them look very, very similar to this. So you need to create a buffer. You need to create, you need to beef them up a little bit. And so this is something that I want you guys to think about, right? So the methods that we talked about, creating a quiz page, a legitimate quiz page, right? You want the landing page and all of that. Wheel of Fortune. Uh, you want to do some kind of geo city targeting, right? You want to qualify the user based on their location or maybe based on some interest. You could do it with Facebook. Just don't go out and say, hey, you from New York City or you live in Brooklyn and do this, do that. I know where you live. Don't go out and do that, right? That's not going to work. And finally, you can do a testimonial, right? You can basically research the company and, and figure out maybe some other people have won. And then you can say, hey, you know, these people have won. They're legit. And you can also win. And that creates uh, an air of legitimacy, right? It makes it more uh, credulous, right? And this is something you want to be thinking about. And so that's all I have for you today. That's really what I wanted to talk about. Everybody wants to do sweepstakes offers, but a lot of people just direct link. And it really, it doesn't work, right? You guys got to put more effort into it, okay? And this is really how you win. And a lot of people are doing quizzes, but not a lot of people are doing uh, the other three methods. And so if you put in a little bit of work, create a landing page, uh, figure out how you can add value to the users, then you're going to be a lot more successful. You're going to be definitely ahead of the pack. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you've gotten value out of it. If you've gotten some value out of it, you found the content valuable, definitely smash the like button. Uh, leave your questions and comments below. And if you're interested in similar type of content, digital marketing, CPA, affiliate marketing, some really, really advanced tech, uh, tactics that not a lot of people are talking about, definitely subscribe to the channel. You're going to be notified of more similar videos about covering all kinds of topics that we like talking about. But all of them are about making money online from your home or from wherever you are. And so thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video.